my advice to the um, to the EU staff and the EU institutions as a whole is because these uh, non-state schools and particularly the low fee private sector constitute such a large share of basic education provision, at least 20% by official statistics and significantly more when you look at market surveys, that the basis of the EU's engagement with a country and with the government as the primary client should be to help the government think through not only how to run the public education system, but how also to engage with the low fee private sector and the non-state sector in a way that can drive the government's uh, objectives. Because it, it does not seem a viable choice to say, um, if you're the government, I will only be the custodian of this part of the system that is publicly delivered. I think there's a, a, a duty there to look at the whole system, which includes financing and provision. So I, we would hope that the, um, the EU staff and the delegations are uh, able to um, take on a, a mindset that looks at national education systems that comprise both public and private financing and provision. And we think there's a ton of learning out there um, about how to select some policy options and do some programming that can um, harness that private sector in a way that drives quality and equity. So that's, that's I guess, our hope in, in engaging the, the EU on this issue.